What if I told you that the leaders of the Great Reset Agenda are working on a secret weapon that can give them unlimited control over your money and how you spend it? In fact, this secret weapon is now being tested in places like Canada, France, and even China. And a proof of concept of the secret weapon has already been implemented in places like New Zealand and Australia, where both governments are already demonstrating that they don't really care about your freedom. No, I said, I'm not trying to be a hero, but the police are coming. So what exactly is the secret weapon, and is it coming here to the United States? What would the secret weapon do exactly to limit our freedom and liberties, and yes, how it's ultimately connected to the Great Reset? By the way, guys, if you love what we're doing here in the Quack Brothers to keep you and your finances free, we greatly appreciate it if you do subscribe and like this video. Now, this secret weapon has been interest of many great resetters as it provides more centralized control over your money. But it wasn't until recently throughout the first phase of the Great Reset that the people behind the development have picked up speed in making sure that this secret weapon comes to life sooner than expected. The critical moment came when earlier this year, a large group of Canadian truckers gained momentum with their protests against the government tyranny. Now, we saw donations pile in from the United States through websites like Gifts and Go and even GoFundMe, which the Canadian government quickly shut the campaigns down and even began freezing bank accounts that were connected to the protests. And that's all thanks to Captain Great Reset, aka the China fanboy. Admiration I actually have for China. But I believe it was this moment where the Great Resetters felt threatened by the protest and started to look for ways to defund any future protests from ever happening again. And one of the ways to quickly end protests is to take control of the funding and enter the secret weapon, the Central Bank Digital Currency, or CBDC for short. And no, not to be mistaken with the oil that rub in your body. Okay. It is so hot. Ginger. Ah, oh, my face. <sighs> the central bank digital currency is a form of a digital currency that major central banks all around the world are looking to implement. Unlike a true decentralized cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin or Ethereum, a CBDC is a centralized digital currency where a government body would have a tight control over all the transactions that happen with the digital currency. The central banks all around the world are promising that CBDCs will provide a more secure and efficient transactions as every consumer would have a direct access to the central bank. It would also make it easy for people to send and receive money internationally, and it's true that it would eliminate banking fees and make transfers a lot cheaper. But of course, there comes the cost that you should know about. More on this in just one sec. Now, I've already mentioned that Canada, China, and France are among the major economies that already launched a pilot version of the currency. Now, you can see that the common thread here are that these leaders of the countries are super and ultra pro-grade reset. So much so that Klaus Schwab even admits that his influence has infiltrated the cabinets of these countries. So it penetrates the cabinets. So here's where it gets extremely scary and what the great resetters don't want you to know about. First, since the CBDC is a centralized digital currency, it gives the central banks more power and control. Let's unpack this for a minute. Essentially, your money will become nothing but ones and zero inside of the central bank's server, which also means that the central bank can essentially delete your money with the push of a button if you start to misbehave. Another tyrannical application of the CBDC is setting an expiration date on your money. With the traditional fiat, one of the things that central bank could do to encourage spending was to lower the interest rates through monetary policy. But with the CBDC, they can simply set an expiration date on your money to make sure that the money is spent. What's even crazier is that they can set the expiration date on your money depending on your internet browsing history, your social media posts, your purchase history, and so much more. This ultimately goes right back to the idea of a social credit system where China has already paired the idea of their CBDC to their social credit system. Just imagine for a minute of a situation where all of your money is set to expire tomorrow all because of what you said on Facebook or Twitter. Like how ketchup doesn't belong on hot dogs. Or you're banned from purchasing certain things from online because it's bad for the environment or it doesn't necessarily agree with the government policies. And because the CBDC is tied to the blockchain technology, information about your past purchases are stored forever and cannot be erased. So just think of a scenario where you buy something today that is totally frowned upon in 10 years. The central bank just might cancel your money because of your decisions 10 years ago. That's crazy. 
Furthermore, your investments, retirement, and businesses at UCBDC are also tight monitoring to make sure you're aligned with the values of your government and corporate overlords. And the central bank doesn't even have to hire people to do this because they can simply program an algorithm paired with the latest artificial intelligence technology to make decisions real time. And this is where the whole idea of corporate ESG comes into play, which stands for environmental, social, and governance. So to catch some of you guys up, ESG is a push for big corporations to play a role in the environment and certain social issues. That means companies are encouraged to make decisions and enforce certain policies that support combating things like climate change and social justice issues. So picture a situation where our corporations and governments simply cut you off and cancel your money because of what you said or your decisions online and offline. <laughs> oh, you think cancel culture is bad right now? Wait until they cancel your money, man. And just like that, no government and corporate bodies have to try to enforce their goals on you because they can simply cut you off from the system if you don't comply. So this sounds really scary and all, but certainly the United States and its freedom-loving principles would ban such a thing. I mean, right? Right? Well, a few weeks ago, Biden signed an executive order tasking various government agencies with developing an infrastructure and policy proposals for a United States-backed CBDC. In other words, a Federal Reserve digital currency. On August 2020, the Fed began developing a blockchain software to usher in a dollar-backed CBDC. Although much of what the U.S. is doing at the moment is just research, they are gaining serious momentum as institutions like the MIT is pitching in their intellectual resources to push for a CBDC here in the United States. Even last week, I talked about how the U.S. dollar collapse has started with signals from Saudi Arabia looking to abandon the dollar for their oil exports and sales, which could in theory pave the way for something like a CBDC to grasp hold of the world's economy as the alternative to fiat currency. So as you might suspect, the CBDC project is totally linked with the Great Reset Agenda. You know, the one about you will own nothing and you will be happy. It is an ultimate reset of the economy, society, and everything we believe in to fit the agenda of a tightly knit group called the World Economic Forum. And they may use words like stakeholder capitalism and bright new future, and they really aren't lying. It will be a bright new future for the World Economic Forum for sure. Oh, and for, of course, Darth Klaus. Now, we all need to work together to stop this. Whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, unity is what they don't want us to achieve. They want us to stay busy blaming the other side of the aisle while they push their agenda against all of us. And in terms of your money, I strongly suggest investing hard assets like real estate, commodities, and even, yes, ammo. As we begin to see a potential for a dollar collapse, you need assets that have inherent and utility value. But if you really want to learn how to protect yourself like the elites, click on this video right here where I'm going to show you how the elites are protecting themselves from the Great Reset and how you can as well.